Number 67, consider a clock with an hour hand and a minute hand. What is the measure of the angle the minute hand traces in 20 minutes? Okay, so let's draw a little clock. All right, so here's your clock, right? The hour starts up at the top, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. 20 minutes should lie then roughly around here or so, right? Okay, so pretend here's the minute hand. Let's go all the way to the top. If this is the minute hand, okay, oh, wait one second, how did that happen? No, let's try that one more time. Okay, no, no, don't do that. Okay, pretend here's the minute hand, okay? And it goes now 20 minutes. So you're gonna start your angle here and it's gonna swipe on over to here roughly, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna measure that angle from there to there. What is this angle, okay? So how do we do it? Well, you can simply create a proportion, okay? If you know, now we're talking about minutes, right? We're talking about minutes. So if you know that there are 360 degrees, and that's equivalent to, right, that would be equivalent to one full rotation around this clock, that would be equivalent to 60 minutes, then x degrees should be equivalent to 20 minutes. You see the consistency here? This is how you set up a proportion. Now you don't need two equal signs because you're gonna divide them both basically, so you need, all you need is one. Now this is the x, the x has the unit of degree, okay? But to simplify this, we're just gonna cancel them all out. The reason being is because, well, they basically will. I mean, minute divided by minute is nothing and degree over degree is nothing. So I know when I solve this x, I know I'm gonna be solving it for degrees, okay? So this is the math, that's it. It's a simple proportion, right? All you have to do now is solve for x. Watch this little trick. You're allowed to cross multiply everything diagonally, okay? That's how you've been doing it your whole life. But watch this little trick. Bring the x on out and across. Bring the 60 on down, 20 on over, and you're done. Everything's multiplied and divided, okay? The whole object is to get x into the numerator. And that's it. Plug that on into the calculator now. Ready? So it's gonna be 20 times then 360, all divided then by 60 and we come up with a value of 120. In other words, x will equal 120 degrees. And that's the measure of the angle. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. If it did, like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We truly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.